Hello Sagittarians, <clears throat> welcome to your March 2022 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share and if you enjoy my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now Sagittarians, <clears throat> in this video what we will do is we will look at sort of three areas of your life. We will look at the overall energy for the month of March as it presents itself to your sign. So we will look at the overall energy first, then we will look at your emotional core, see what comes in with regards to healing that has to happen, what can go, or maybe love is coming in, we'll see about that. And then out and then lastly, we will look at your at opportunities as they present themselves to you <coughs> in the months of March 2022. Well, if you're ready, with no further ado, let's look at the overall energy for your sign of Sagittarius. Very interesting, because you are depicted as the archer, and you have the hunter of vision, and it is represented by the archer. So, the hunter of vision basically means that in March, as a sign, the overall energy tells you, this is the time for you to actually focus on what it is you want, right? Don't go back into what didn't work, right? Stop that right now. Go into like, yeah, what would I like to get out of my life? What do I want to get out of my life? And then literally, hunter of vision, <clears throat> you're looking for that new beginning. You're looking for that better tomorrow. And all the universe is saying, well, find it today, right? You have the hunter of vision, so you decide where your energy goes. So maybe you should go for stuff you haven't done before, right? And trust that you will be fine. <coughs> because your depiction uh, of the archer is, uh, in fact, the depiction of a centaur. Um, and a centaur is a, a seven-foot tall, or was a seven-foot tall being that was half human, half horse, and the whole thing has been named by the creek, right? Um, what happened is that the this archer, this centaur, went on a hunting trip <laughs> with, with the god Zeus, and Zeus accidentally shot him. <laughs> right? And in honor to and in, in order to honor the the centaur, um, your constellation was named after him. If that makes sense. So there is a bit of um, or so the energy that that a Sagittarian brings to your life that makes sense so just by being in the constellation and in the sign of Sagittarius it's for you to understand that that you may have trust issues you know because you know if a god shoots you who can you whom can you truly trust right and while this is just a depiction if that makes sense you know energy words have energy and because this is the um, the origin story of Sagittarius right that energy is sits in your sign if that makes sense so Ultimately, what the guides are saying is disregard self-doubt, right? Suspend disbelief. Just look at what it is you truly want because you have the ancestor of illusion here, which means sometimes you're not going anywhere. And sometimes you actually, sounds wrong, lie to yourself, which means you stay in situations that really aren't working much longer. Um, and all the guides are saying is how helpful is this, right? And it's not. So what they're saying is don't fall back into believing what other people tell you, um, sticking with jobs that really are total shit and don't, and don't really fulfill you. You do not have to do this. You have the hunter of vision as your incoming energy for the month of March of 2022. So what they're saying is this is also going to be the month where when you actually make changes and manifest changes, they can come to you, right? So... Be positive, have a high energy this month because it is really, really important for Sagittarians. That was your overall energy, looking at your emotional core for the month of March 2022. You have the ancestor of boundaries and the dancer of frustration. With regards to your emotional core, which also means, um, you know, love and how you feel in situations, you have the ancestor of boundaries. One way for you to make sure that any relationship you enter and any 
love relationship and work relationship for that matter that you commit to there need to be boundaries you need to know it makes the way that it sounds a bit weird but it's just the way i'm getting it you need to know what the rules of the game are if that makes sense so the the the, the, the clearer the picture is for you um the easier things get so should you be in a relationship that is at this point in time not really working you should have a heart to heart <coughs> have a really clearing conversation so you can put these boundaries in place where you know okay that's what we're doing here right so maybe you just need a little bit more space in that relationship right because you have the dancer of frustration should you not be in a relationship because you have the tensor of frustration as your outgoing energy which means that energy stays with you it's going to be difficult to enter a relationship because a part of you is still frustrated by whatever happened to you before so when you enter a new relationship or even if you are in a relationship right now make sure you look at that trolley that everybody that all of us have right everybody has this baggage look at it and um, look at how much of whatever happened to me still informs how I make my choices has whatever happened to me in my love life made me doubt and therefore not trust anyone right if that makes sense so, so while they're asking you to reflect a little because you have the dancer of frustration. Dancing means pussyfooting. It means like, okay, will I do something about it or not? And all they're saying is, it's entirely up to you because you have free will, right? The point they're making is you're not doing yourself a favor by not allowing yourself to start over and to have a clear, a clear conversation if should you be in a relationship with your current partner because you have the unsettled boundaries which is depicted by a bull, right? And the bull is literally saying, like, you know, my territory, my private space has to be safe. So in a relationship, you you ought to feel 100% at home, right? And all they're saying is, then make it happen by talking about it. <clears throat> okay? Sagittarius, now we're going into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of... March 2022, for your sign of Sagittarius, you are watching Thomas's tarot page with myself, Thomas Yannack. So, <clears throat> you have the Calumet, the drum, and the heavens. So, in short, when it comes to opportunities, because the drum is in the middle, it's surrounded by the other two, which means it becomes the most prominent here. <clears throat> the drum is saying, you make things happen. If someone said to you, like, oh, yeah, you know, stick with this for a while, you know, there should be new opportunities coming to you next month, right? We're creating new jobs, that kind of stuff. Bullshit, right? What the guides are saying is, if you want opportunities, you have to beat your own drum. Be loud about who you are. Show yourself. Don't hide. Because you have the color med. The color med is basically um, a sacred pipe. And all they're saying is, Whatever you do when it comes to your life, your future, your opportunities, always go with the flow. Don't try to chase success. Don't try to make things work because you want them to work so badly. Go with the flow, right? Feel positive about whatever it is you're doing. That way you can attract positive relations, if that makes sense, and positive work. So all they're saying is don't push anything, right? Don't don't force yourself to get through things that don't really interest you or don't fulfill you, right? So that's why you have the drum in the middle where they're saying is, you know, opportunities will only come to you when you're confident and when you're loud about it. <clears throat> Interestingly, you have the heavens as the outgoing energy for the topic of opportunities. And the heavens means that your ancestors are around you and in your ancestry, you will find, when you look at, at opportunities, that a lot of people had to make do with what they had and will have made changes to create a better future for the next generation. And all they're saying is, so when you look at your 
you know the family you were born into your ancestry um you will you will just by by looking at it you will realize that a lot of people have probably had much less than you have and got on with things and made things work so in other words don't wait for opportunities to come to you right take the bull by the horn right go for stuff maybe go for stuff you haven't done before right but be confident about it you never know what it leads to okay that's all we got for Sagittarius. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Yannick. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee now on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Thank you all for watching and I see you all next month.